Your Excellency, Mr. Jaroslav Gerchak, it is a pleasure having you on our program. First of all, could I ask you to introduce yourself to us, please? Yes, it's my pleasure to be here with you, Lecturer. And my name is Jaroslav Gerchak. I am the Czech Ambassador to Myanmar. Four-year term is a challenge for any government to make all the changes and reforms speed of your transition to democracy and the rule of law. We graduated from an international aid recipient to a respected member of the donor community, but it took us 20 years of intensive work. You mentioned the uh, uh, greatest weapons of diplomacy. Uh, you know, it's uh, in my opinion, talking about these weapons or these tools, I think the most important is uh, cooperation, mm -hmm. a search for maybe win-win situation or common interest. Mm -hmm. And what I want really to recommend to everybody, it's all these critics, you know, mm -hmm. without any recommendation what to do, how to do, just to come to this country. Mm -hmm. and to stay here as a diplomat and tourist, whoever, businessman, and to try to understand that here in this country there's nothing black and white. Mm -hmm. It means that the complexity is so, mm -hmm. so visible that uh, and all the people in Myanmar. You made a very good point about people coming into this country and having a, a closer observation of the things that are happening around here. There seems to be uh, a sort of helplessness, media-wise, to counter what is happening. So, what's your opinion, please? Uh, you know, very well, we belong to media. <laughs> that media has a power, uh, right? Significant power. Uh, how to minimally to influence the, the, the people, understanding, either domestically or, or internationally. Another issue is that somehow the readers are recipients of the news from media, they rather seek bad news and, and, and then good news. It's mm -hmm. another issue. It means the Czech Republic as well as Myanmar are still in transition. So the media and also in, are in, in, in transition. Every country in the world needs confident and open media, for sure. I would add probably, personally, objective, independent and professional media. And the most important, uh, last but not least, that media should present the truth. Exactly. It was after a long 53 years, the first high-level visit from the Myanmar side. I would like to call this first visit to Europe after June 2017 as a friendly visit, based on the genuine long-term friendship between our peoples it was no coincidence that Her Excellency's stay in Prague started with the laying of flowers at the grave of our former President Václav Havel, who was such a close friend and supporter of Her Excellency Doan San Suu Kyi. Other notable highlights of the visit were the official reception by our President, Prime Minister and other high representatives, and a very successful business forum, her memorable speech and the receiving of the historical medal at Charles University and the opening of photo exhibition called Beauties of Myanmar and lastly but not least the opening of the Myanmar Embassy in Prague and multinational levels the Czech Republic as an EU member country would like to serve as a bridge between the European Union and both Myanmar and the region in order to bring about a better understanding of each other. I'm very proud to say that in terms of efforts for better education, Myanmar has supporters from the EU and its member states, which includes the Czech Republic, who have already contributed 220 million euros to education reforms in Myanmar. To me, the Myanmar people are the greatest asset of your country. Ambassador, I have to come to my last question because I know you are saying your goodbyes around Nebido and you mentioned somewhere that your country has transitioned. It's taken 20 years for the country to transition from an aid recipient to, to join the aid donor community. Let's start with the, the lessons learned and, and messages. <laughs> That's uh, the first message is that uh, changes can't be done overnight and mm -hmm. it's just 
and uh, is still in transition, even after 30 years. And you know very well, recently I, I, I read uh, in newspapers that your presidential office presented comparisons and how successful various countries around the world were or has, have been in transition. Some failed and some and many, in many of them it took a long decades. Imagine you are just at the beginning, mm -hmm. I would say after 10 years or 5 years. And it means that, uh, and also the message is that not to be relaxed and happy, that there is... Keep going. working hard. Yes. <laughs> and be patient. Exactly, and step by step. Mm -hmm. And uh, it means that really to be patient. Mm -hmm. To be patient, patient, patient. How your people are. And then us. What to say about us? Okay, there are two elements, main elements, why we change from the recipient country to the non country. First is uh, uh, economic growth. growth. Mm -hmm. Somehow you need economic growth. You need to accumulate sources, either from international aid, we also, we also received uh, decades ago, or 10, 20 years ago, and then investment. Your country also desperately needs investment for us. It's coming. That's also mm -hmm. the second important moment. Because this from these funds you could provide, you can you could do, donate. Mm -hmm. Thanks to these funds. The second factor is that we we became 2004, we became a member of the European Union, also OECD, and uh, they give us some guidance. Guidance and also best practices. How to proceed, how to, uh, and also how to be a responsible donor mm -hmm. is also very important. And uh, in your case, everybody knows that except for the biggest asset, mm -hmm. I believe it's the people. Second biggest is your natural resources. Yes. But also in terms of natural resources, it comes responsibly mm -hmm. how you use them, mm -hmm. how you distribute them, and you know very well that maybe one of the issues among the ethnics mm -hmm. and this never lasting civil war is the natural resources and sort of sort of business and economy around. It means this is also an issue. And uh, in this context, if this happens, you can achieve, achieve all kind of goals you can imagine. But for me, another lesson learned is probably the most crucial. And uh, this is uh, we somehow set our mindsets mm -hmm. within the past and decades yeah. back. And it is most difficult to change our mindsets. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned recently, it's it's for all of us. It's mm -hmm. in my country, in your country, and I was it was well at revolution. I was 33 years old. Mm -hmm. We also some grew up in some environment like like you, like many others, and that. But if young generation mm -hmm. and people, you have edu new education reforms on the way. That's right. That's yep. correct, mm -hmm. and it's that means that everything together, it means that you definitely will successfully pass the the most difficult test. It's on the way to peace, harmony. I've got to end on that note because it is good. So, uh, Your Excellency, Mr. Yaroslav Dolicek, thank you so much for your time, for your patience and uh, bon voyage and we look forward to meeting you again. Thank you very much.